We want to thank all y'all so much for all the love and the support that y'all gave us on the proposal video. I cannot believe I'm a fiance. Like, what? I've, been, I've known this for like nine months. And my fiance came in my wrist. He put that ring. Hold up, y'all. Hold up. The ring still ain't got size yet. We're going to wait until the move. We got so much to tell y'all. So, my ring is still, you know, kind of big, but Amazon and TikTok help your girl out. So, we put this little rubber band thing, thing on my ring so it won't come off. But like we said, we want to thank y'all so much for all the love and the support that y'all gave to us. We cannot wait to start wedding planning and, you know, just get Get this new chapter in our life rolling like oh my god like I just love you I just love being a fiance it's just like being a fiance everything just hit different like the love just hit different you just being here with me and I'm able to call you my fiance like all that just hit different like Y'all just look at like, I don't know, man. We've been trying to really get like our sleep skills are back on track, but the times I have been up, I've just been looking at Quita. She'd be knocked out. I'd be like, look at my beautiful fiance. Aww. I gotta tell you, I gotta change her name on my phone. I gotta do a lot. It's a lot. We gotta do, we got, it's a lot. Like yeah. these vlogs, is gonna be a lot. Like our life now, it's, it's a lot different. going on. It's different. This is like a new chapter in our life. Like being a fiance just make me feel like an extra grown woman. And it's just so crazy. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. Y'all be looking at my ring. I just be like, wait. <laughs> I be like, is this real life? Like, I'm really engaged. Then all I be looking at at night is like weddings, weddings and, and her rings. Like, yes. Like, I don't know. Quit is like me. I think I ripped, I rubbed off on her a little bit. So like, in our early stages when we was like, you know, buying stuff that we, you know, dreamed of having. Yeah. And I would have it laying next to the bed, and I would be looking at videos of something that I didn't bought, and it'd be like, dang, this is crazy. Like, Quit, her whole camera roll is pictures like this. You better know it because baby, I'ma flex this ring. That's why I went ahead and got the little band thing thing. Until we move, y'all. Y'all see the title? This is our first moving vlog, but let us get back into the proposal stuff. So I was like, baby, I can't keep putting a tissue through my ring because it wasn't giving like cute vibes. So I told y'all TikTok came through for your girl. So once we move into the new house, we're gonna go ahead and send my ring back off so it can get sized the proper way. So if y'all see me without my ring, just know. It's gonna be shipped off for like yeah. a week. Um yeah. it's not gonna be long. It's not gonna take a crazy amount of time the only amount of time that's gonna be as long is the shipping process overnight of course with <coughs> insured and all that so don't y'all worry about none of that all right your boy yep. ken got this some people did not have faith in me i'm gonna keep saying this i'm gonna say this in probably like the next couple vlogs baby that was on your symbol board y'all was on my ass and i couldn't say nothing y'all i couldn't respond i liked a couple comments on tiktok <laughs> just because i was fed up like they was like this is giving proposal and i would like your comment the whole time it's supposed to be a proposal the whole time it's supposed to be a proposal y'all oh my god we're gonna do a sit down talk we want to get too 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 into like detailed about everything i want to yeah, do yeah. a fully sit down talk so they probably be filmed at the new house because y'all seen that title so of course we is finally moving we got approved for our house y'all we it's got approved like, for a house i want to yes. keep y'all guessing on what kind of house we got so yes so plus yeah I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just excited. I'm so excited. it's like a lot just like lined up. Like Kenny proposing. I don't know how he sneaked that in. Us moving because I know y'all seen the vlog where we was on the where headed to the airport on the plane. I was like, we got a surprise for y'all once we get back home. The surprise was we moving, but whole time Kenny had his own surprise up his sleeve and your girl came home a fiance. <laughs> Let me elaborate on my hiding spots that I had this ring in this house before I forget. So I'm gonna show y'all the first first place that I had it at, the recent place, it was in our bedroom on top of the ceiling fan. Um, oh my God. The same ceiling fan is like right here. So I ain't gonna take y'all in the bedroom because the bedroom is this stuff everywhere and we got to clean that up today. So we're gonna clean it up in the vlog and then we're gonna show y'all that. But the second place was actually in my game room. You know, I don't go up there anyway. So. Come on, I gotta show you where it was at. Come on, come on, come on. So one of the hiding spots that I had it was in here, I literally hid it behind all these boxes. Oh boy, I wasn't going in there. And then I hid it up here you're not tall enough to see up there so so how long you been hiding this ring the ring got delivered probably a week after we came back from memphis let them watch the sit down video then we'll get 
back into this. Okay, okay, okay. But y'all so right we gotta have them way. Yeah, yeah. Right now, we gonna save all y'all questions. So y'all drop some questions down below in the comment section on what y'all wanna know, how it feels, all that type, everything. Anything y'all wanna know revolving around this situation, y'all drop the comments down below and we will start another vlog in the new house, which is gonna be soon. But right now, y'all, we this gotta go get some breakfast. This is the moving process. Yeah, we gotta go get some breakfast right now before Chick-fil-A stop selling breakfast so y'all seen the title of course this is our very first moving vlog want to take y'all along the journey with us throughout this whole entire process moving day is on march 29th so y'all we probably won't be exactly moving in march 29th being that we still gonna have a whole month here in the townhouse so we'll just take our time moving out and we cannot wait to show y'all our new home this is like a new journey in our life new chapter we engage new house everything just lined up and i feel like life just going so good right now and i just cannot believe like this is my life right now i just been feeling super blessed super happy and i'm just so thankful and blessed to be here today so let's go ahead let's head out we're gonna go to home depot we're gonna go look at some light fixtures we're gonna grab some boxes because we want to change a couple things out in the house this rentals friendly and i want to go see my home girl many weeks so i miss my friend so much so i want to go see my friend while we out and then we're gonna go from there so let's head out and go to chick-fil-a we pulling up at chick-fil-a y'all i'm turning the camera on and look my whole nail done came off it's cool because i was just selling ken i'm ready to get these long nails off my hand because y'all have long fingers and my nails like my fingers are skinny and me having long nails just make my fingers look extra long so i need to go to the nail shop and i need short nails for the move so i'll go ahead and go to the nail shop tomorrow like i said right now we at chick-fil-a we're about to grab us some breakfast then head to home depot can you which home depot we gonna go to so we're gonna go to home depot like i said we got a couple things that we're gonna grab then on the way back we're gonna go to the storage we gotta go to the storage to upgrade the storage because y'all we need to go get this couch out of the garage as y'all know we got a couch in the garage and then kenny want to get a new couch y'all know we just got a new couch from a brand deal so kenny want a new couch so we're gonna be looking at to get like a new couch as well if y'all want to buy either or of our couches potentially we would sell it to somebody who watches us uh or we can give it away especially the one that we got for free yeah we yeah can yeah we can get that one away for free but yeah. the one that we swapped out if 500 dollars Take yeah. it, please, $500. So we potentially giving away the one that we was gifted because we can give back and gift it to somebody else. So yeah, once we get to Home Depot, y'all, we gonna let y'all know everything that we looking for. Cause like I said, we looking for boxes. Then it's a couple of fixtures that we gonna switch out in the house. So once we get there, we gonna let y'all know the fixtures that we looking into switching out. So everything can just be really like looking good in the house. Okay, so we made it to the light fixtures at Home Depot. We're probably looking at something like this, but I kind of wish it was black. I just don't want to settle for like no any kind of fixture. And what's your thought? Um, I understand what you're saying. Um, because maybe we can probably find like something. Yeah. The black one. The black one straight. We want something modern too, because we do got like a, a modern home. Yeah. So. Let's go look on the other side. But that's just an idea. Because we don't want nothing too crazy because this fixture is going above in our room by the TV. So So we finally found the aisle where most of the chandeliers are that we want to use going to be in here. I don't know what we're going to use. We kind of found one of them, but uh, I don't know. I, I want to use something modern. Them more so dining room. Look at this. Man. That's like a dining room. Too. Let's go over here. I'm gonna show them this one down here because I kind of like this one. It's two hundred dollars. I'm pretty sure we can adjust the height on it, and it's dimmable LEDs. Yeah, I like these. The yeah. brand is Artica or something like that. This, this the one I seen on. Oh, I Amazon. like that. One. I like that. Yeah. One. We finna go over here and we finna look at this one. I like that one. <laughs> yeah. Take a picture of the box. Since we gonna put since we gonna have black in the bedroom. I might get it now. Come on, fix over here. Now we still gotta pack up extra. Oh, it's right here. No, that's the fifth. That's not it. This one right here, y'all. This one or this one? I don't know. Y'all let us know. Here you go right here with the box. Quita told me some. I ain't come to Home Depot to get nothing. I'm gonna go get the faucet then. We're gonna decide. We're gonna decide. Faucets. So we're gonna switch the faucets out. Y'all, this just rentals friendly, okay? So our kitchen got this little thing thing on it. So we have to change this out in this. So we want gold, being that we got gold details in the house. So which one you like? You like that one? I'm gonna let you pick. I ain't really tripping on nothing. I'm just. Okay. I'm just here. And I know you want a new pressure in the shower in this bit. Oh yeah, I do want a new pressure in the shower. I want black pressure, so. Black, I'm, why are you saying pressure? It's a faucet. Oh, so 
we're yeah. gonna get all this once we get settled in good we don't need none of this because all that come with the house already finally a house with details yeah. so we ain't gotta just, throw our towels on top of the shower so i'll just change the shower head out and that's it we got this tape though yeah, that's all we got is tape. So yeah, that's it. Let me take a picture of this stuff so I can know what we working with. I can't believe we just went in there for some tape. <laughs> well, it looks like we're gonna be packing stuff up. And the clothes that's washed, y'all, let me tell y'all something. I'm gonna go and get everything that I got to say about this house a little later, but it took me one day to dry one load of clothes. One load, and they still drying. Luckily, our bedroom was there, the washing room right there. You got a whole washing room there. Yes. I can organize it, I can put the stuff in it. And we also got a linen closet right by it, so. Thank you, Jesus. Thank I you. can finally get that dirty clothes organized. So we so can put that in there. Whites, darks, colors. So that's gonna go in there. Then you can then we can do the containers. The containers finally. Cause y'all we can't really do nothing. I mean, I'll get into it a little later, but all we gotta do is well we're gonna stop and see Ethel for a second and then we're gonna head to our storage and we're gonna get our boxes out of our storage. We potentially can go ahead and see about upgrading our storage to get a bigger space because we gotta get bigger space. We got a whole we got two couches. But if we, you think we upgraded right, they're gonna make us move out of the new storage today or oh, you think they'll let us finish the whole month in the old storage and just move us over to a new storage i don't know we're gonna see once we get there yeah because we most definitely need more space and we got christmas stuff christmas decor still in our storage so it just feels so unreal like we really moving it's been a whole year already it's crazy i hope it don't be nothing wrong i hope it don't be nothing wrong i hope it don't be no you know no regrets or nothing like that it shouldn't yeah. be we got details we're in a very nice community we out the way so i'm just excited to start packing this stuff up so when we get home later on today i'm gonna bag up all the clean clothes and we taking some stuff over once we get our keys on friday as soon as two more days two more days so <laughs> in two days when we get our keys it's gonna be some stuff that's already in the car i might go rent me a car or no, rent we a got a deep clean first so they'll yeah, see the deep, deep clean, clean video on down the line on down the line and then you can start loading up man i want to bring my clothes my shit can i put my shelves in this car no you talking about your bellies yeah no oh. you gotta cut it down baby uh -uh. man i'm ready to go bro i can't wait to get from all that bro dang something nicer and better so yeah like in the y'all comment down below what house y'all think we got oh my god when we get our keys we're gonna be sitting in there on the floor for like two hours and we leaving tomorrow y'all we just left zales in sephora we went to zales to go get my ring size i'm a five and a half five and a half and kenny got an eight <laughs> luckily he got Man, the ring listen. let me see let me talk luckily he got the ring a bigger size because he was telling me if he would have went smaller he couldn't ain't no way he can fix it so Luckily, he got a big size, so therefore he can adjust it to my size. When he do send it off, they can adjust it to my size, and I can be wearing my ring every single day because, as y'all can see, it is moving around, and I got this little band on it. So, what you got to say? I got an eight because a long time ago, I remember I put my right hand up. Quita sat right there and told me eight. I never told him eight. She didn't know her size at the time. I know she didn't. I can't even wear an eight. Like, my hand ain't even that big. I tell y'all it's time. Did I miss my time? Yeah, you messing up real bad. Y'all, my fingers are skinny. I have long, double-jointed, skinny fingers. Ain't no way in the world my finger can get an eight on it. So, it's no big deal. Y'all, when he got on his knee and he got up and he was putting a ring on my finger, he was like, it's too big. I'm so sorry. I'm like, it's okay. The ring is still beautiful. Y'all just been cheesing left to right ever since March 22nd. Like, there's just a whole new chapter. It really was the 21st life. for America. I don't know what day it was. I honestly don't I'm know. I'm gonna go with the Maldives time, March 22nd. So, as of today, we've been engaged almost a week. No, it's been a week. Crazy. Time is going by so fast. Well, we've been asleep for two days. So. Yeah, but we're about to get ahead to our storage, grab a couple boxes, see about upgrading, and then head back home. Grab all of them. <laughs> Yeah, I swear I don't feel like packing up. I'm probably gonna take me a little nap, pack up later on. Cause I, I've been up since 1 a.m. I am tired. I said I was gonna get on the camera complaining about me being tired, but y'all, I am so freaking tired. It don't make no sense. Kenny actually woke up at, what time you woke up? So I woke up last night at like 12, 30, almost one o'clock-ish. Mm -hmm. And I stayed up for a couple hours. Then I went back to sleep until like 6.30. I went back to sleep until like 6.30. So I'm pretty much cool. I know I'm gonna try and get myself on a good track so I can start waking up at like 8 a.m. type stuff. Yeah. 
but Quita, on the other hand, if she go to sleep, there's nothing I can do. I mean, I've she, been up. It's gonna be out till nighttime, so. Well, when you've been sleeping, I just let you get your rest. So maybe you can start packing until I wake up. I don't want to let you sleep all day. Your sleep's going to be the same the next day. I ain't going to lie. I'm, not, I'm having a hot flash right Man, now. Man, this ring is hidden. Y'all probably can't tell. They can't tell. I tried to tell on camera, but it, that camera, I don't know. It don't, mm -hmm. can't pick it up. So, yeah. I love it. I just love my life right now. I'm having a hot flash right now. I don't know why they get hot flashes like when it's hot and cold at the same time. The sun is beaming. Y'all know the car is glad. The air is like on two. I got this big old sweatsuit on. I'm hot. Told you found a windbreaker. I'm having a hot flash. Me and my fiance have made it home. Fiance Queen Renee. Man, she got stuff everywhere in this room. This is the only place where stuff just gets dropped off and laid That's around. Work in here. Oh my goodness, man. My OCD is kicking in well, bad. The new house, I got my own closet. You got your own closets and closet room here. And there's still stuff everywhere. I ain't gonna get into the details on what, what, like everything that she got in here. But I tried to clean up and organize a little bit so I could start, you know, packing up little by little. And it just got, I just found a a wig in one room, a wig hanging upstairs, a wig about finna get in my room some kind of way. I don't know how. It's just a lot, bro. It's a lot, bro. I told her the other night I was trying to, I went downstairs, I got the full boxes. I was trying to pack up and I just said forget it. Let me tell y'all why she's finna say forget packing today too. Tell them what you finna go ahead and do. Y'all. I literally been up since 1 a.m. I am tired. I'm getting eye bags. I have to go get my eye patches. I gotta get some sleep. I'm gonna sleep for about two, three hours and get up and hopefully my sleep schedule be back right. Cause around this time, this is a good time oh. for a nap, okay? So I'm gonna take a nap. This is not a nap. This is a nighttime. <laughs> I'm gonna take a nap and I'm finna get up and start packing. Y'all, yesterday Kenny got in bed at 6 o'clock. Kenny didn't wake up to 12 a.m. He hopped up. So it's night time. It's night time. Yeah. Mess me up. I got the dinner in the refrigerator. You can prep the dinner. I can. Yeah. But in the meantime, I'm finna pack. This is our last day cooking dinner here. And I'm gonna cook dinner. Please let me get two and a half hours in. Two and Imagine a half. you've been up since 1 a.m. and it's almost 3 p.m. Man, Come I on, got man. my sleeping schedule back on track. And <laughs> I know y'all gonna. It's not on track. Let, yes, it is. I know y'all gonna say something about these pillows. I even told Quita before we came in the house, like, please get them pillows out the window. It's been like that for so long. But it's not gonna be like that in the new house. We have no space for nothing. I don't know why. She got them pillows up there to block okay. the light and the sun from coming into the room i don't know it's backwards we got a lot of stuff in this house that needs packing i'm up. gonna get up i'm promise i'm gonna get up i'm gonna order some lunch i thought we agreed on no lunch i want some chicken nuggets how you gonna eat some chicken nuggets and you finna go to sleep <laughs> didn't you just eat some chicken nuggets for breakfast the chicken minis go make me some dino nuggets <laughs> i'm so serious i want some dino nuggets don't care if they got some dino nuggets. you just need to just go to sleep i will wake you up <laughs> What if I don't wake up until 11 o'clock tonight and she got the same cycle? You should have did like me. You finna go to sleep too? No. If I go to sleep, that's the end. I might as well start all the way over. <laughs> Kenny, I've been up since 1 a.m. That's the crazy part about all of this. You might as well stay up. It's 2 o'clock. If you stay up for four more hours, you can go ahead and lay down. Quita. Just okay, keep yourself busy. I'm gonna just get the video up. Mm -hmm. And then. You gonna come help me pack? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You make me some dino nuggets? Quit it up. You not finna eat no dino nuggets. <laughs> I'm so serious. I'm not finna make her no dino nuggets. I want nuggets. chicken nuggets. Now that we back home, I can finally tell y'all. We came back home and it is ants everywhere. Not just no five or six that you will see. It's literally ants everywhere. I don't know why it's ants everywhere, but it was a couple grapes that was under the couch from Mr. Caleb. I'm blaming you. So when you get old enough to realize, just like I said, when you get your own house, I'm gonna leave two grapes under your couch and I'm gonna have some ants come in your house. But this is not our house no more. So I feel bad for whoever comes in this house. Cause I don't know. I sprayed in this house and there's ants everywhere still. The dryer don't even work all the way. So I don't, I feel bad. The ice don't work. I can say all of this now because we finna be gone but yeah man if you come and get this crib i don't know what to tell you i got a lot to tell you but i don't really want to speak too negative you know what i'm saying you might like it but for me personally bro after i just came back home and realized you know i tried to wash a load of clothes and it took me 24 hours to dry one load of clothes i said yeah that's it that's the end what i'm finna probably pack up is i don't want to pack my game room up not yet not yet not yet 
I really don't even know where to start. I really don't. So when we go get the keys Friday, I'm probably gonna take some stuff over there, like the clothes racks and the clothes that I do have lined up. I'm gonna take them over there, go ahead and set them up so I can clear up what was supposed to be our office. Go ahead and set that up and take some, you know, some bathroom stuff over there, stuff that can fit in the car. But at the same time, we're gonna get us a small little U-Haul just to pack stuff up and take it over there, then go to our storage and reorganize our storage. So what we're gonna put in the storage is just gonna be the couch and the Christmas tree stuff. As y'all know, over here is complete chaos. Big old one of the wigs, I kept saying. This was supposed to be our office, man. It's a ladder, Christmas tree stuff, clothes, air mattresses. I don't even know what that section over there is anymore. I don't know. We ain't even touched none of that stuff. So the storage that we did end up seeing today that we're gonna upgrade to is well enough space for us. Now Quita tried to persuade me into getting a storage that was the size of somebody's house. And she just tired. That's all that was. She was just sleepy. So I'm a kind of, no, I can't really take no more clothes downstairs because in our bedroom it's just a mountain full of clothes that's just haven't been folded and it's nowhere to put them so it's no point of folding them. so these clothes right here are dry and these clothes in the wash machine have gotten sour because it took me 24 hours to dry these clothes so now i got to rewash these clothes and then hopefully the sourness is gone and then i'm gonna put these clothes in a black garbage bag because it's nowhere else to put them man i hate moving but getting about it there so i didn't already started packing up my room a little bit now boy 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 when i I tell y'all I added too much stuff in here I added too much but it's fine though it's fine because I only gotta do this one more time for a little second until we actually build our house now this TV is actually gonna go inside our guest room yeah we got a guest room now so when guests come over they would not be palated up in the living room they would have a room so I'm getting a new TV man Best Buy had a sale bro they had a sale for the weekend I had nowhere to put this TV I swear I, I was not finna struggle trying to get this TV in this little lad house I just wasn't finna do it I'm just gonna I paid an extra little for 400 for the TV, but Best Buy had a sale, bro. They had a sale for like, I think it was a 75 inch TV OLED for like $800. Now, originally these TVs be like $2,000. I don't know what in their right mind made them think that they was supposed to have a sale like that. And I'm a proud Best Buy supporter. You ain't send me no emails or none so I could prepare myself to get this TV. But this TV, little 55 going inside the bed, the guest bedroom. And I don't know, man, Quita was thinking about upgrading and getting another TV for the living room. I don't know what we gonna do. But as y'all see, I got one box and I got another the box i'm just cleaning out all this different type of stuff i got vacation clothes that i forgot i had it is clothes in there it is boxes at the top of the thing for like all these bear bricks and cost figures i got the boxes i still gotta keep the boxes the first thing i'm gonna end up moving is like shoes clothes and high value items now queen renee my fiance oh that sound that sound clean i ain't even gonna lie to y'all that sounds so clean but her room is in shambles it ain't in shambles but it's it's just at a point where it's just it's stuff everywhere like i walked in there and i said how are we gonna do this even though we got movers we still gotta break a lot of this stuff down like the shelves that i have right here i still gotta break that stuff down man i wish i could just fold this whole house up and just dump it somewhere goodness but yeah like i was saying my fiance is currently downstairs sleeping she has been asleep for like an hour 30 minutes really two hours no the last time i got on camera i said it was two o'clock she fell asleep 30 minutes after that it's currently 5 10 so i'm gonna wake up and probably like 20 20 minutes go ahead and get up so that way she won't be up all night because our sleep schedule is but my sleep schedule is hopefully okay we will only time will tell but i'm in her room i feel like her room wouldn't be that bad i don't think it's that bad we're just gonna dump all her stuff in one tote and we're gonna try and move a lot of this stuff this weekend we picked the keys up friday saturday the junk people are coming it's a junk company to just pick up random junk so i know she gonna want her vanity mirror no more because she broke it i don't understand why she just wants to every time we move quit gotta throw some away i'm putting my foot down listen you ain't throwing this away no we not doing that. but this junk coming is finna come pick up a lot of stuff that the garbage people did not pick and we ended up getting fined for it um it's not our fault i'll be gone we be gone so it's i i ain't paying that junk now they come saturday so that leaves us with sunday to fully you know go ahead and just ship as much as we can to the new house and then monday monday hopefully monday the movers can come and you know kind of get all the like heavy stuff like these shelves i want them to come get these shelves the right way because last time them shelves 
themselves went on an 800 mile journey however far houston to atlanta is 14 15 hour drive and her shells actually got messed up so we ain't going too far we're going far but we ain't going too far so hopefully don't nothing get towed up so i got some boxes organized in the back as y'all can see ken is sleeping i just got the shower i took my ring off i don't need y'all cover but i took my ring off i had to get in the shower and i'm finna pack up so i got four boxes right here i'm really thinking the tape is in the car and i don't feel like going downstairs and get the tape i don't know where i want to start it i probably start in this cabinet right here but i kind of want to start upstairs but i don't know if upstairs should be the last thing that we do or should we do upstairs first and then do downstairs i'm not sure but i'm finna go ahead and pack up what can i pack up because we don't have no bubble wrap we don't have none of that i don't know why we didn't get none of that from home depot um i'm probably gonna pack up this little miscellaneous cabinet up here because there's some stuff in this cabinet that we haven't even used since we first moved here so yeah i know y'all probably wonder where is kenny is literally sleep i know he's talking about he's gonna stay up he gonna get his sleep schedule together but he's sleeping like you supposed to be helping me pack let me put my dinner in the oven real quick he's supposed to be helping me pack but apparently he want to go to sleep but it's perfectly fine because i took me a little nap and now i'm up i just need to find a tape so i can start on this cabinet and then maybe just go from there because this stuff gotta get all packed up and taken down anyway so today is moving vlog day one and i really feel like we haven't done nothing but went to home depot and got my ring size so we need to get it together I know y'all ain't seen me since daylight. I fell asleep around 7.38. It's currently 12. I gotta go back to sleep, man. I gotta go back to sleep. Please wear shoes. She going to sleep in a $100 shirt. But anyway, this is the cons of going out the country to these different places. We'll make a whole video on it another day, but um, we're gonna carry this vlog until tomorrow. So therefore we can use all the boxes that we got and pack up pretty much a lot more stuff. So we can go ahead and just get stuff and then clean up basically along the way, take some stuff down. So we're gonna see y'all in the morning. I'm about to go get some sleep because I've been knocked out. The next morning. Good morning, y'all in the same spot from last night when I was half asleep, I, I could not hang. I could not hang. I finally got my sleep schedule back on track because guess what time it is this morning? Alexa, what time is it? The time is 9.04 a.m. I don't know if y'all heard Alexa, but it is 9.04 a.m. Me and Quita have been up for the past four hours, not getting nothing done, just sitting there, just looking at each other, no cap. Today, y'all, we finna start boxing stuff up, getting stuff organized. We mainly gonna focus on the kitchen, the living room, the dining room, and our bedroom. It's not gonna be too bad. Uh, we most definitely gotta go back to Home Depot. We went in Home Depot, did not know what we was gonna be getting, so we need to get some wrap, some bubble wrap, and I'm pretty sure that's it. I would like to get some more totes just so we can, you know, tote our clothes up. So that way, when we do go pick up a U-Haul this weekend, we just ship our clothes over there. And then the movers are just tackle like the heavy stuff and the other stuff that we didn't feel like grabbing. So let's get into this productive day. Good morning, y'all. So it is the next day and my fiance and I are currently packing early it's currently like 9 a.m and we up early we're kind of glad that the trip messed up our sleep schedule a little bit because we were sleeping in like late i'm kind of glad we up early so we got a lot to pack up today move-in day was originally tomorrow but i don't know if move-in day gonna be tomorrow being that we still waiting on the light company to get back with us so we can't be moving in tomorrow we can't even pick up our keys tomorrow so we just patiently waiting but right now i'm about to eat me some breakfast and book this flight to New York <laughs> cause as y'all know Kenny Maurice is getting him a tattoo in New York so I'm about to book these flights because I don't want to wait to the last minute y'all know with us when we usually travel we usually just have y'all waiting but it's New York so you excited? I am I'm sorry my energy just decreased so bad I need to eat some breakfast <laughs> should we cook some bacon in the air fryer? I ain't trying to mess up no more dishes yeah he don't want to mess up no more dishes dishes are really really packed up so except the dishwasher yeah probably gonna be the yesterday probably was our last day cooking in this house but like I got something to eat me some cereal book this flight to new york and then we gotta go back to home depot today because we need some more boxes because apparently this ain't enough what you think we still got dishes in the cabinet we got glasses in the cabinet and it's, I some, like, more, it's some more downstairs i just brought some up yeah. see a lot of this stuff 
uh, really just gonna go in like totes. So like when the movers come and get everything, it's just gonna be in totes already. Then half of this, well not half of it, I'd say a good 30% of this stuff we could just move ourselves because we is we do gotta get a U-Haul truck. We're so supposed we to can... went tomorrow, but apparently I didn't call the um, Georgia Power people. I didn't inform them that, you know, we moving, so that's on me. I'm sorry. It be on Quito when the Wi-Fi be delayed. What else? Yeah, it's on me. It's my fault. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking they can probably just turn service on ASAP, but they said one or two days they'll get back for me, so I'm sorry. They said that today? Yes. Quito, we got it. stuff to do. Saturday, the junk people should be coming to the house to get the, you know, the, the stuff that just in the way. Then Friday was supposed to be the day that we used the U-Haul to go take the couch. I know that's supposed to be tomorrow, but that'll be so pointless because like we got a whole U-Haul. So tomorrow was supposed to be us getting a truck, right? But being that I didn't get the lights on, she said she can't hand the keys over to us. So I feel like getting a truck tomorrow would be pointless because we could have took some of the stuff to the new house. We probably could have took the couch because this is a light couch. That should have been your first move. <laughs> I know. I don't know what I was thinking. So sitting there scrolling on TikTok, you prior. But we was in the Maldives. No, she blaming it on the Maldives. That ain't got nothing it to do with it. It literally say, "Hi, Laquita. Thank you for requesting service with us. Your request is important, so as you receive a dish of confirmation email with an account number within one or two days. It ain't even been one or two days. It's literally been like five hours since I put the request in. So we gotta just sit back and play the waiting game. So let me go ahead and eat before Kenny get to packing up the bowls, the spoons, everything. So I'm kind of sad because I was looking forward to going. To there. Cleaning up tomorrow and you setting us back. You messing up all my plans, Quito. I'm sorry. We could have took the couch. The living room could have just been full of stuff to be bringing down for the movers. Hopefully, we get the keys Saturday. That'll be okay. But y'all, let me go ahead. Let me fix my cereal and book the flights. Quick Home Depot run, y'all. We gotta run to Home Depot. We need some more boxes. We need some heavy duty bags. What, what else we need? Some. I ain't seen no more boxes. Uh, I was no, 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 no more boxes. We need bags, some heavy duty bags and some rubber wrap. Plastic, the little plastic for yeah. the dishes. Some more tape and some heavy duty bags and bubble wrap. And bubble wrap. No boxes, because we got a lot of buckets and boxes already. So, Kenny gotta go get her hair cut at two o'clock, so I'ma just stay home, organize some stuff. Probably scoot the couches back so I can start lining like the boxes and stuff up in the living room, because we barely be in our living room anyway. So, probably just gonna scoot the couch all the way back to the window, line it up real nice, probably move the mirrors and stuff out of the way. Stack all the glass and all the portraits that need to be getting wrapped yeah. up. Stack all that up. Yeah. I kind of want to go ahead and wrap stuff up and move stuff to the side so that way we can know what we gonna take ourselves. Go ahead and take it over there mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And then Saturday we gonna start moving stuff to the garage for the movers. Yeah. So that way they can just go ahead and just uh, uh, and then. Uh. So hopefully we get a confirmation or however they do it for the lights later on today, so we can go ahead and get them lights turned on so we can be going to get our keys tomorrow. If not, hopefully we can get our keys Saturday. I don't even know if the light cover to open up on Saturday. I don't know. If not, we're gonna have to just wait till Monday and get our keys. Hopefully by Monday everything be all packed up. So when the movers do come, they can just take everything that they need. You think we need all this? Oh, this ain't enough. This, well, this is good. We just yeah. need one little roll. Get that right here. Yeah, this is gonna be good. I don't know where all we gotta take. But I'm pretty sure this is not all the bubble wrap they got. Just left out of Home Depot. We grabbed some bubble wrap and some of that like that that uh, styrofoam paper that you use for your like like your dishes and stuff. So we should be good. I know most definitely I'm gonna have to end up coming back. If it's a Home Depot over there by I'm gonna get my hair cut at, I'm gonna just run in there real quick and just go ahead and just you know just grab some extra stuff that I feel like we're gonna need because we do got two big TVs and then we got all that glass. So I feel like any glass materials that we can just take ourselves. We, just, we ain't even gonna worry about it. We're just gonna throw it in the car or, or just get like a, a, just a rental truck or something and just, you know, wrap it up safely. But on the way back to the house, so we can kind of organize this stuff and make space for all this other stuff that we got boxed up. Oh, I'm texting the lady now, telling her about the water service. Who should we like go through and stuff? It should be included. I've been rolling. I done emptied out all this. I'm only got two more left. And then y'all know the food pantry. The food pantry, we just gonna put a, put a big bag and we just gonna put it all in the car. The glass and stuff, we ain't even gonna let the movers touch that. The movers is gonna handle all the heavy stuff. We might as well just take the couch. So really, the movers just gonna have to take the bed, the dining room table, the TVs, the extra lamps and stuff, a and few the of these shelves. boxes. The shelves, most definitely, the shelves, most definitely. And I think you just need to break your racks down. 
go upstairs. I'm Cause the my... office stuff still packed up from Aurelia. Like if we get the smallest U-Haul truck right, I can right just get everything out of here. Should we take the office stuff to the storage since we not even having an office? Yes. Yeah. But we at the same office. time, we got to, um... It's hot in this house. Y'all, look, the air don't work. We moving so we can show y'all this. These clothes ain't been folded in months. <laughs> we ain't got no space. Is the breaker on? Yeah. This is, I don't know what's wrong with it. You can go back down there and see. I, 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 I promise. I promise. I told him the other day, I said, I feel bad for whoever come and move in here next because don't none of him work. The mm -hmm. ice don't work, the water don't work, and the refrigerator. The oven be making rattling noises and it don't function all the way correctly. We can take these curtains down. We can take the curtains down. Y'all can see everything now. We'll be out of here by the time all this come up, get up. So, what else don't work here? <clears throat> That's it. You know what I want to test out? You know, these the same lights in the new house, right? I want to do these. Got a switch working. Go up. Go get your leather. Let's see. But what if I pop the cap on it and don't know how to put it back together? That's how the new house is. Quita, I'd rather do it in the new house than this house because people still got to come and tour this house while we gone. Okay, well, I'm finna finish clearing all this out. We really needed to get like five of them totes. So therefore, you know, we can put like uh, a lot of stuff in there. Moving got pushed back to Monday because we don't have all the stuff in order. So it looks it's like we're going to be in here until... Oh it God. is a rush. We got ants in here. You ready to get out The here? air don't work no more. I'm ready. I'm going to just crack the door. That's worse. We've been in Texas. It's fake out there. Ain't no grass, no trees, no real nothing. So it wasn't no pollen. We in the south now. My whole face going to swell up. I'm sorry. I'm back from getting blessed. I know I look good. I know I'm handsome. Y'all ain't gotta say it in the comments. Shoot. But I ain't gonna lie. Quitter did get the stuff very, very organized and neatly sectioned off. Let me give y'all a tip. Get you a fiance. You know what I'm saying? Get you go and get you a fiance. If you watching this right now and you, you know, you got you you, you got your girlfriend right there, y'all watching together, get you a fiance. Your life will go so much smoother. It will. Look, we got all, Quita separated. She got the plants over here. She got the vases right here. She got the cleaning supplies right there sectioned off. I know you can't see it because we got this ultra high def futuristic 10 out of 10 camera. So it ain't going, you know what I'm saying? It's all about quality. The dining room is sectioned off very neatly. Get y'all a fiance, man. Um, I actually just went in there. Oh my God. We got a basketball? Bro, there's some stuff in this closet that I did not know we had. Oh my goodness. Yeah, bro, get y'all a fiance. I'ma say it again. But we actually, I went in there and I woke Queen up. I just tapped her on the shoulder and she just woke up like she's seen a ghost. So you know how it be when you just wake up from a good little nap and you just be like. Like you drowning or something. What you drowning from? It's oxygen in the air. Yeah, she, uh, she, she, she gonna get up because we actually finna go grab something to eat. We haven't eaten nothing all day. I actually washed the car. I don't even know. I'm gonna tell y'all, bro. I ain't even gonna tell y'all, bro. Something happened to the Tesla. I washed the car, and I had to order a part off Amazon. That's all I'm gonna say. But the house is looking very, very neat. I'm actually finna go make sure I quit it and accidentally just lay back down and go back to sleep because I'm starving and I know she's starving and then also I want to get back home so I can actually have some quality time and play the game because as y'all know I've been going to sleep super duper early it is the next day and it is super duper duper early it is currently about I want to say 7 30 no not even 7 30 7 12 it is 7 12 in the morning thank god that we went to maldives and ended up getting our sleep schedule on a predominantly well beautiful amazing sleep schedule man i just showered i hopped out the shower so last night i'm just going to tell y'all what just happened so yesterday we went out to eat i think we told y'all we went out to eat at like 6 30 7 really like 6 30. that was dinner came home laid down and was out just 
completely out. That was it. Went to bed at like eight o'clock. And then I woke up at like 5 a.m. probably. So I've been up for a little minute, just looking. The sun is rising. We actually about to go get some McDonald's. I do not know how long this vlog is going to continue. We've been recording with this memory card for like two, three days now. I'm not even lying. So if this is an hour long, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I be saying sorry. I don't know, man. Y'all need to let us know if y'all like the hour long videos or y'all like the short minute videos. Me personally, I like the hour long videos. We finna actually go get some McDonald's. We getting McDonald's breakfast. Gonna be five. Hot cake, sausage, maybe a little OJ and some grits. You know what I'm saying? Then we're gonna come back here. The living room is completely done. We're gonna work on the bedroom and the bathrooms. And I don't know if that's gonna be in this vlog. We might strike up another vlog after this. I don't know. I'm gonna wait for Queen Renee to get ready. My fiance. That sounds so, that sounds fine, man. Instead of, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend. Not to say anything is wrong with you having a boyfriend and a girlfriend, but I'm just saying. From my current standpoint, that just sounds so official. That just sounds so P. I am P. I'm player, super player. Been player, but I'm extra. Oh, Good morning. Ah. <laughs> so we gonna we gonna continue recording like today. We gonna take what we gonna do today into the the cleaning vlog. Quita, you ain't hear me. Oh, what you say? I said, are we gonna end this today, like this morning, and then like finish packing up and stuff, and then take that into the cleaning vlog? We probably can go ahead and end today. We gonna go get breakfast. Well, they gonna go with us to go get breakfast. I kind of feel like we need to go back to Home Depot because I feel like I need some more boxes for my room. I need to start packing up my room. We got them totes, remember? Them totes, them, all them totes that y'all seen when we moved from Houston, all that was just shoes and... Do we need to go get like a little pickup truck real quick? Because I need to start with... We can't because we, not, we don't have the keys. The plan was I was going to get a small U-Haul today and I was going to put the couch that's downstairs I was gonna take whatever we needed, like the Christmas tree decorations and all that other stuff that's upstairs. I was gonna load that up in the U-Haul, take it to the storage, upgrade the storage, transfer everything through the storage, and that was gonna be done for today. That was gonna be it. See the we thing the keys. is, I was gonna take the U-Haul to the new house today with the new with the couch that we got, some of the stuff. We gonna deep clean. See the thing is, we waiting on the Georgia Power to get back with us. They said one or two days, but being that tomorrow is Saturday, they probably not gonna get back with us till Monday. So I don't know if I can call them to start the service or what. So I don't know. Please call me eight. Really nine, just say nine, cause I ain't gonna lie. Somebody called me at work at eight in the morning with that bull. I would have been. Well, let me go bathe so we can go to McDonald's and then oh, we'll probably find something else to do after that. We go see King Kong versus Godzilla today. <laughs> mm. Your boy, your boy finally got a gym in his neighborhood. I get them cuts. Oh, I'm gonna be, I'm be like this. I'm gonna be like this on vacation. How the bodybuilders be? They be like this. Then Quid gonna go with me. We gonna get some gym. Ooh, we gonna. Oh, we gonna come through that light. Well, she ain't gonna come through that like this, but I'm gonna come through that like this. Mm. We got a summer vacation trip that we're planning on doing, and they got a Stanley cooler. Let's get the Stanley cooler. God, what you know about this? How big it is. I don't know how you open it. Look at the little cups. Just to have around now. Them like, just regular cups? Yeah. How much they is? I don't know. $20? How much the cooler? Damn, lost their mind. The cooler, $40. We gotta, um, we gotta, we gotta save for our wedding. Yeah, we gotta save for the wedding. So, Ken get him a Stanley Cup tumbler because we finna be going to the gym so we can get right for the wedding. I'm already right. Boy, you gotta get in there a little more. Y'all, look at this outdoor furniture. We got a balcony in our bedroom, so I think this would be really nice for chilling out and stuff. But we'll find something better. What you think? CB2. CB2. As y'all can see, the townhouse is empty. It is a couple days later. Y'all will get the full moving vlog next. So we done cleared out mostly everything in here. Um, we still got a couple jackets and stuff that needs to be taken to the car. But y'all, I'm just so glad to be out of here. It's just like we on to visit and better things. Y'all already know once we move out of the house that we currently just got, Kenny wants to get us a house built or bought either way it go because he said that this is his family tradition so been a family tradition i thought you said that i'm tradition. just saying that's not no tradition a tradition is something that your family is accustomed to 
I'm just trying to, you know, follow in everybody's footsteps. Everybody's so. footsteps. Being that that's my fiance, so I'm going to let him handle that. Y'all, his parents literally got like a picture of them and him in front of like they little land and stuff. They bought to be at the house that they, you know, still currently in. So. I, I, I post the pictures probably. I don't, I don't think I'm going to post them now, but like when we get into the process of building our house, you know, I post mm -hmm. that picture, you know. Let's say we do have a kid. At that same time, I think I was like three years old. Yeah, your mama showed me that one. I'm yeah. like, oh, we need to recreate this when we have our own kids. So, um, yeah, it's been a journey in this townhouse. We literally was here for a year, as y'all know, the lease is up. So, it's been so many ups and downs, which we're not going to get into. I feel like we grow a lot in here. What you think? I just want to, it's just a lot that happened here. Uh, we traveled almost every month in here. That's yeah. because I feel like us traveling every month, we just wanted to get away. Like, it got to a point where it was just oh we went home all the time y'all yeah, y'all always time. probably y'all probably thought we was always here we was literally always gone and we ain't on a vacation or we're not in birmingham memphis we was gone i know y'all heard us you know like talking about the stuff that was going wrong in this townhouse um nobody still never came and fixed it yeah stuff still don't work yeah um i feel bad for whoever comes ahead next y'all this is a, this is going to pop up if you're looking for a place to live this place is going to pop up you're going to find it if you're on like zillow or true love apartments.com yeah so your bracelet and then i'll just take oh. it off moving so yeah it's going to pop up um when you, if, if you if you are a viewer of our channel, a supporter of our channel, and you end up seeing this and you're currently getting ready to move, it's a quiet community, peaceful, and nothing really happens over here. Um, ain't nothing over here, so be prepared for that. So. Ain't nothing over here. You're going to be going to Chick-fil-A a day like we did. Yeah. Um, you ain't got no gym, no nothing, no, no swimming nothing. pool, no nothing. It's just blocks of townhouses and smaller apartments so yeah if y'all see this because i seen some people talking about some yeah now go on, drop the townhouse location i ain't gonna drop the location <laughs> we ain't gonna drop the low like that y'all go to we tell y'all go to true we go to zillow and find it so yeah um i mean we really didn't get out over here you know just step outside like our new community we can literally we can go outside go outside we got and just a lot of shopping we got a lot of food and I told y'all, we far away. Like this time, we is ducked off. I feel like we ain't around nobody this time. We really got blessed with the house that we were in. It's like I told y'all in the, in the, um, what it was? I, said, I, I think I said in the proposal vault, uh, we literally just sin on a ride and we just going with the flow. I mean, stuff just be getting, like blessings just be landing in our lap yeah. and we just, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's what happens when you just, you know, you just stay humble and you know, you just stay focused. Yeah, just stay focused. Um, and I just want to thank y'all because I'm not going to lie. Without y'all, we wouldn't be in the position that we in. You know, exactly. we, we worked hard for a long, long time. And, you know, we still got some work to, you know, work to on do because I'm not going to lie. My bar is. Oh, <laughs> y'all should hear the things that can be saying. I'd be like, whoa. He be shooting for the stars. <laughs> so some of the things that I'd be telling Queen, I'd be like, I want three houses. I want a house in Miami. I want a house in the South, primarily Atlanta or Georgia somewhere. Um, mm -hmm. The third house, I'm not sure where. Um, he also he want to go to Utah, so. Probably Vegas. Utah, Vegas, but yeah. I want to. I just want my my houses to involve businesses as far as like real estate or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but other than that, y'all. This is it. All we can see our neighbor on the balcony. That's crazy. You know, you're going to deal with that if you move over here. Everybody going to be in and out your business. Man. It's, it's pretty peaceful. You know, yeah. it's pretty peaceful. So it's a wrap after this. Well, y'all got one more vlog, but I don't think we wrapped it. Did we wrap that vlog up? We wrapped it up in a new house, right? Yeah, we wrapped it up. So we wrapped house. it up in a new house. So it's been real up in here. Um, Y'all been in our business when we were staying in this townhouse, but we ain't going to get to that. So we gonna leave that where it's at. We, we gonna to... leave that where it's at. So. Don't get us wrong now. We human at the end of the day. Yeah. If you was in our shoes, of course you. It's, you know what I'm saying? You gonna step out of your comfort zone and and and, and try step and step out of curve a little bit. But I ain't gonna do that no more, y'all. I ain't gonna step out of curve. I'm gonna That's stay. not stepping out of. Curve. Right. I'm gonna stay focused. Just stay focused. I'm gonna stay focused, and like I said, 
I'm a bigger person. We're gonna plan our wedding. We're gonna plan our vacations, the party. Uh, yeah. We're just gonna. And we're know, gonna share everything with y'all, like we already did. We're not gonna hide our new house from y'all. We're not gonna hide nothing from y'all. We're gonna share it with y'all because I feel like it's a must that we take y'all along each process that we go on, being that if it won't be y'all, we won't be here. So, and what's the we, point of hiding yeah. stuff when if it won't be y'all? We want to be where we at today. So. And when we created this channel, we also wanted to create this channel not only for y'all, but also for us, you know, to go back and look on. And then let's say, you know, you know we 80 years old and you look back and like, damn, we should have recorded them moments. Them were yeah. some good moments. That was some good times. Just like, you know, how the kids come, right? And we record the kids. And we be like, dang, because each year, y'all, they get bigger and bigger. Um, yeah, so we feel like this year they gonna look bigger. So when we go back and watch last year's video and the years before that, y'all, they look like little babies. So that's why I feel like we just like documenting everything. Yeah, but. It's been real townhouse. Ha apartment. I want to call this an apartment it's, because it's basically an apartment. Being that we got people, people over there, people over there, people under us. Yeah, so it was people under us, people on side of us, people in the staircase, and where else, Kenny? In the, in our bedroom. So it's hard to explain, but if you see it on True Lunch, you'll, yeah. you'll and you come request a tour, you will see how it is built. Like it's like it's like a lot of this this unit that we in. I think it's two or three of these in our little whatever this is oh the little section okay so yeah this flow plan is all over these townhouses what this apartment complex if you want to call it so i say it's about 15 of these Probably. exact flow plans so yeah if y'all like this flow plan Come on in, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't take our experience and you know get your own experience. Yeah, get your own experience. Cause I'm pretty sure somebody else is gonna get this because I met somebody who actually stayed in the same condo that we stayed in in Atlanta the first time, and it was just like, girl, you stayed there? So I was just like, that's crazy. Um, yeah. But it was real, y'all. It's been a long year. It's been a journey. And it's over. I know. So we can close this chapter and move on to our new house. We already blessed our new house. We sent positivity there. Um, yeah, we just gonna leave it up to God to figure out what's next. I say this in the next four five vlogs. <laughs> we want to thank y'all so much on the positivity that y'all gave us with our proposal. Yes, yeah, so let's talk about that real quick, y'all. Thank y'all so much again. Like Kenny told y'all. During our engagement announcement, we really appreciate it so much. It literally did so good, and we really appreciate y'all so much. We didn't expect all the love and the support that we did get from it. So it was really me because I wasn't even thinking about that. I was just putting a movie together. I was just, I was just like in my head, like, how would I want to see this going back, looking at myself at the other time? It did a amazing and i cannot wait till we do the engagement sit down talk because a lot of people got a lot of questions for you and me and i just cannot wait to answer those questions and i just oh yeah so we're thinking i'm gonna say this i'm gonna say this we're thinking for like our wedding it is going to be why would you do that i gotta wait to the video no 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 but i was just saying if you have a business out there and you see your business contributing oh, to yeah. our, you know, our wedding, Wait. then shoot us an email at our business email down below. Yeah, so we're looking for decorators, florists, um, shoot us some venue ideas. Y'all know we new to like this wedding stuff. Send us like, you know, DMs on what all we should be looking for when it's time to actually start planning. We've already started planning. We just wait, wait, to... you gonna spoil it for the engagement video? I ain't saying that oh. crazy. <laughs> Yeah, so y'all, we gonna tell y'all everything how our family like excited and how they got us starting to get stuff together. I'm like, baby, I only been engaged for three weeks and y'all already trying to plan this wedding. What about engagement party? Y'all just gonna skip the engagement party, right? Y'all finna go straight to wedding day. But we done found her styles, colors, everything. Like everybody's so excited. <clears throat> I'm like, I can't even enjoy being a uh, fiance. You're going to enjoy it. Y'all trying to make me a wife. <laughs> we're going to go somewhere. We're going to go somewhere and we're going to have us a good time. Uh, then we're going to go somewhere again. 
We're yeah. gonna do two in the church. Let's do two. You see how we is? This how we're gonna be at the altar. Yeah. I'm gonna be toe up. I'm gonna be toe up. I'm gonna be toe up. I was toe up when I seen her getting toe up. I would be toe up, y'all. Y'all gonna see. One thing about me, I'm a very emotional person, regardless of like any situation. Um, I'm gonna cry. Sound like I made somebody with it. I'm gonna cry. Um, I'm just very emotional. I could be watching a movie, y'all, and it touched my heart, and I'm gonna cry. I can like when I was watching like other YouTubers' engagement or whoever engagement. Yeah, I'd be crying like for real. <laughs> So. She had me watching engagement videos and I was looking at it and You had me head. watching engagement videos and you done already had everything. It was me. And, and I already had everything. And I'm over there. Look, 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 look. We're gonna say that type of another day. Also, her ring is it's getting Reese High. So. Which I will see in the next vlog. Had me over here crying at other people engagement and you over here in your head like I got some up my sleeve. <laughs> You so full of crowd you already. Y'all, we're gonna tell y'all the whole story, Sam, because y'all can figure it out. But we're gonna go over here. Y'all, we're looking at all these instants on the floor. I ain't gonna deal with this no more. Oh, but um, yeah, we're gonna run up in here, grab the rest of the jackets and stuff. Because y'all, it's actually like three weeks later, right? I think it's like three or two weeks later. Yeah, we had to come back and add this segment, y'all. Yeah. Moving is a little bit all over the place and then we like really really far from this location so yeah we very far y'all we literally have to take a whole road trip that's how far we out we is i told y'all we out the way look 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 we got a whole nother vlog we doing so we gotta go in this one so we can yeah so we can get back on our new side of town yeah so, so yeah with that being said thank y'all so much for the love and the support from the engagement coming for what they call me queen unsaid in my day. that's so far they call me Queen on stage, so thank y'all so much for all the love and support. And shout out to everybody that support me and Ken. We love y'all so much dearly. Shout out to all the people that be looking out for us. You know, they, they be sending us positivities in our DMs, y'all. We literally see everything, but we just can't get back to everybody like that. So thank y'all so much for always making sure we stay in focus, making sure we ignore certain situations, and always like just looking out for us, especially like the older people that watch us we look at y'all like you know and you're like we be, we be surprised like the older people that be watching us um i know y'all want to see us doing good staying focused and that's exactly what we've been doing throughout this entire situation so it's time to move on and just stay focused okay like i said y'all it's enough money out here for everybody okay like kid and said go get them books if Let's you want to be like us or you know we any, inspire you yeah. Every any information that we could give y'all is in them books, and when you get them books, you get access to the email. So all yeah. you gotta do is just email that email, and then we're gonna talk to y'all directly yeah. if you have any questions. And coming from Queen Renee, I want to tell y'all this: it's enough money out here for everybody. Go get your bag, stay focused, and don't let nobody try to tear you down. And do you? Do you? Regardless of any situation, no matter what, people gonna talk, people gonna hate on you. Just keep going. Gonna make them mad. It's up. <laughs> like DJ Kelly say, her mother. Not mad. <laughs> what she thought she was gonna walk to? I'm gonna go get in the studio. Y'all, we finna. Come on now. <laughs> Bye, y'all. That will be fine. We're gonna. We gonna. Oh, put me in the studio? It looks. It, no! It, stop, no. It, I'm gonna get in the studio. We're gonna see y'all in our next vlog. Let me tell you this. If I do get in the studio, somebody. I need a ghostwriter. I'm your ghostwriter. You gotta write me some five music. It's gonna be five. I don't know about I ain't talking about my music ass. You from Memphis. I need a producer. I can get the beats. You go me up. No, I got it. Okay, Kenny want me to get in the studio so bad. He wanna make a song. This is he, fine. He wanna you make a song. Okay, 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 okay. So with that being said, we will see y'all in our next 